Hey there, Aquarius. Okay, so we're going to do a love reading. And this will be for either someone you're with or someone that's coming in. So if you don't have someone right now, then, then take this as the next person coming in for you. Okay, so let's first see what the real situation is. Where you stand or where, where you will stand if someone new comes in. So just take that way. And send me, I don't want to keep on repeating that part. So let's see. So let's see what's going on. Oh, there's going to be a celebration. All right, now you are happy. You're having a good time if you're in a connection. Hmm. Or it might be someone new that you're going out with for the first time. Is that what's going on? It's going to be different for everyone. So let's see. Meeting, party, or else maybe it might say that you might meet someone at a party. Hmm. Okay, so we have the house. You might, or maybe a house party. You might meet someone at a house, or this might be saying you're having a celebration at your house. Yeah. Because with the house, this can also have, maybe there's a celebration of something that's going on. With the family, real estate, stability, structure, um, a shelter, comfort, you know. All right. So let's see. The biggest barrier... Um, Often relates to how you communicate. So if there is a barrier or something going on, let's see what's um, crossing you here. This could be good or bad. Let's see. Let's see what we get here. Oh, four of wands. Well, there's commitment here. This can also be someone wants to get married. If you're not already married. Okay. But there might be an ending in order to have this. We have the coffin here. So this, the coffin is ending, it's completion. It's also transformation. It's, um, it could be the end of stagnation too. This is some kind of transition. It's a death, it's a major change. So whatever this is, it could be that you're stopping something, completing something, something's over. It doesn't actually mean a death, death. But there's something that is done with like and it could be stagnation if there say you might be celebrating that maybe you've been wanting for someone to propose to you and that hasn't been happening maybe they're they're realizing now they want this i mean it, it, this could go so many different ways so just take it how it might resonate with you okay and if you meet someone new say you meet someone and now you met the one it might be this is the end of waiting you found the one i mean this could go, oh my god this could go so many different ways with this spread okay so what is the best thing you can do at this time okay we have the ten of wands okay you know what this is saying that there's going to be an end to your burdens so let's see what the other card we get on this Ten of Wands. You might have a lot that you've been doing. Might have been really busy. And maybe that's what's happening too if someone didn't come in yet. Because you had to take care of things. Had to make room for them. So we have here the book. Oh, and it's open. So you might be learning something new. Let me really... Okay, someone's congested here. See, I don't know where that came from. But all of a sudden I had to clear myself. So someone feels a little congested. So someone might feel overburdened and congested. And now they're they're freeing themselves. I feel like someone's breaking free from something. The book is knowledge. It's um it's information, it's knowledge, it's um it's could someone could be studying too. This could be secrets though, it could also be learning, it could be um Someone could be looking into spiritual and someone that's might be something new to them too is what I'm feeling. But this is really nice. This is like there's some kind of information that's coming in. And maybe someone is finishing up school with the book here. And you're waiting for that. Okay. 
but learning something here. Okay, so now what we're going to look at here is we're going to look at maybe karmic ties, maybe past lives with this person. Let's see if we can find anything on that. I'm just putting a little t different twist on this. You know me. I'm always doing something different. <laughs> if you want the same old, same old, this is not the channel for you. And I'm not your reader. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we have here the star. It was written in the star. There is there is this person that's coming in or the person you're with. There is a past life. It was destined here with the star. You could feel it too. It's like when you meet someone, especially if you're with someone that you decided to marry or you feel really close to this person. It's like there's a knowing, there's a feeling, there's a, there's a um, someone feeling very familiar to you. You feel comfortable with them from the very beginning. That's what tells you there's probably a past life. When you first meet someone, and this is on a past life on any level, whether it's romance, friendship, a business uh, situation, because you could have been in different past life in different ways, you know? Like, you could, I mean, it's kind of weird, but it could be like, we, we seem to come back with the same um, soul families. And so it's just that you're playing out different roles when you come back. So say um, it could be in one lifetime you were husband and wife maybe in this lifetime your siblings or or something like that i mean kind of weird but i know but it's like different roles you play out if you really get into it you'll realize it's not that crazy i know <laughs> not until you really get into it it's like if you ever read the um course of miracles it's a hard thing to get started in because you got to look at things so differently it's like they tell you you have to remove your head in order to see. Uh, maybe I, I shouldn't go that far into it. Okay, let's see about the star. Let's see. We have the child. This is like, okay, see, that's what I mean. Someone could have been a child to the other person. Or um, this is also talking about there's some kind of beginning or some kind of start in the past. It could also be saying, you know what? We have the child here. Maybe you were able to have a start in the past life, but that didn't go beyond that because of something that happened. So you came back now to complete this, to finish this, to um, you know, pick up where you left off. So maybe it's not a child. Maybe it was, maybe it was a, a romance. If we're you know we're looking at the love, love reading here, maybe it was a romance and something stopped you for some reason. Something got in the way. Someone took a different path. I mean, because we all have free choice no matter what in every single lifetime. And every time we make a choice, it brings us on a different path. Different connections, different people. And I almost feel like that's what it feels like. You're destined to be with this person. And you at least had a beginning with them in a past life. But this is also saying, you know, you're going to feel this. You're going to feel this like, um... You might also feel with this person the energy of feeling, um... Like a kid. Or... There's, there's just this newest, new, newness, new, newness. <laughs> I, I've been listening to other readers. I swear to God, everybody's having a hard time with their words. It's the energy. The energy is kind of weird right now. It was the Argolo, Argolo, but um, it's related to Medusa. And I, I don't want to get into all that either. It's like, I don't really understand that that much. So I don't want to talk about something I don't understand. I'm just trying to, um, you know, we're all... We're all students, too, and I'm trying to learn more about the astrology. Um, let's see. So, yeah, so I got that for the past. So now let's see. Um, why are are you two together, or why are you going to be together in this lifetime? Oh, and guys, um, if you haven't listened to the past, I just um, announced that I am opened up to... Um, personal readings now so underneath each one of these readings you'll see the link to um, connect with me on with an email so if you just shoot me an email um, requiring information about the personal readings I'll sh I'll send you the information and take it from there and see if you want to book one or not okay let's see let's see so we have the Empress ooh Hmm. 
for someone here when i got the empress i see this empress looking down at this child i feel like it might something might have happened in past life that you're supposed to have a child with this person and it didn't something happen that's not gonna be for everyone now the empress libra taurus energy the empress is creation is creating something new of giving birth to something new it's creating together this might be saying that you're supposed to be together to create let's see what we get the moon you know what i don't know what you guys are doing but when you get the moon here with this um empress this could be you're getting recognized for something by being together this is going to be some kind of uh, praise for your reputation your fame your popularity you might be doing something in the limelight here with this person this is also talking about the moon your intuition your cycles i don't know they are you guys are you guys already known well known but this might boost you more or there or there might be something that you become well known for being together too or just the fact that you guys your energy together produces something really great um, besides a child it could also be some kind of um, career a business because you know the Empress is could be create anything new whether that's giving birth to a child giving birth to a new business or giving birth to something here that you might become well known and famous for it also might be together you guys intuition might be really strong okay let's see let's see about the future influences for this what is the influence of the future because of this connection Page of Swords. See, this is, people are going to be recognizing you, wanting to follow you, wanting to, you know, to, to watch you here and learning by you. I think you guys might be teachers. Together, you might be able to teach something here or people are learning by what you go through because maybe somehow you might be, somehow you might be in the public here with this, whatever you're doing. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let me get a charm on that. Butterfly, change, transition. You're ch together. You guys are going to influence others to change, to help them somehow, some way. The ring. There's a commitment here. There's devotion here. I almost feel like together you guys are going to be able to help people be more devoted to whatever this is. This could be a spiritual practice, beliefs. Wow, it could be so many different things. But it's um, it's, it's something about a contract or a bond or a proposal. It's going to be a good outcome, whatever this is. We got the ring with this. But I think people are going to be wanting to see you, wanting to, to come to you, wanting to. Yeah, it's like something here that you're going to. I don't know. I, I feel someone here. I don't know. I know this is not going to be for everyone, especially people that don't want to be in the spotlight. But it feels like there's going to be like a mass. Um, the masses are going to want to see you. If that makes sense. It's definitely going to bring some kind of change. Transition. You might be helping people to ch somehow change their lives. Or change their lives to be more devoted or more committed. Maybe you're um, your counselors and it's like family counseling. And maybe you have a, 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 group, um, a partnership. Wow. I don't know. It's like there's going to be so many different ways. You, I mean, it could be art. Maybe you just help people to find their own... Um, creative souls here by doing something that is in the art field or music you might be collaborating with someone in the music industry 
it could be anything. It's going to be different for everyone. Let me get the words on this on Page of Swords. So. Thoughts. Confess. Intruder. After. Hmm. So someone's going to say that... Now, the intruder could actually be another person or it could be someone's thoughts getting in the way. Someone might confess after, you know what, I almost didn't do this. I almost didn't ask you out. I almost didn't, you know, because there's something that was blocking me or something. Maybe I was afraid, you know. It could be so many different things. And I think you'll know if you are already know this person or it might be you'll know that this will be how you react to a certain circumstance maybe okay let's see so now we're going to look at how things look from your perspective with this person that you're currently with or with this person you're going to meet how you're going to see this relationship let's see i didn't expect this to be so um like at public i you know that's but i don't know i guess you know aquarius you're here now at this time to help others. So those of you that want to be in service, you will be. And there will be someone that you'll be connecting with that you'll do this together in some some capacity. It doesn't mean that you have to exactly do the same thing. You could be doing something different and they're, do, they're doing something in like different fields. But together, you um, build something. Okay, let's see. Okay, Nine of Wands. Very interesting. With this Nine of Wands, I almost almost feels like this Nine of Wands is different than other Nine of Wands. This Nine of Wands, I love this Nine of Wands. This is like this person is making fire come out of their hands. So it's like I almost feel like you feel empowered by this connection. That you feel protective. Because Nine of Wands is like a protective energy. But you always it almost feels like this is the first time. You're in a connection where you feel like you can do what you need to do. You can be yourself. You can, um, you don't have to hold back because of this other person not feeling inadequate. Why? Someone is so congested. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I feel like, you know, <laughs> I'm getting all clogged up here. Okay. So, yeah. So this feels like with this connection, you're going to see it at the first time. I met someone that lets me be me and I don't have to I don't have to um, tone down in order to make them feel more comfortable is the energy I feel. Let's see. You can shine your light as bright as you want with this person. Then they're, they're gonna they're gonna encourage it. Okay. Oh we got two. We have the stars and we have the anchor. Yeah. This feels like you feel stability with this person. You feel like this this is it. This is the one you want. And it almost feels like I can anchor anywhere with this person. I can be anywhere. And I could also reach for the stars. They're my wish. They're my hopes. They're they're you're like able to navigate the seas together. And, oh my god, this is so beautiful. This is your hope, your wish, your dreams. This is your direction. This is you like this is almost feels like I can be lost at sea with this person and feel at home wherever I am. It's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Okay, now, how your partner will look at from his or her perspective, this connection. Oh boy. Who is all, con who is all congested here? I'm not congested. Um, there's... I don't know, it's, just, it's like nasal drip. Thank God when I get out of these readings, it goes away. <laughs> so, Eight of Cups. Walking away from something here. You might give them the ability, maybe with you, you they can walk away from something. This this um connection is really, they, they need to maybe leave something behind, walk away from something. The fox. Oh, so you you give them the 
power? I don't want to say power. This is something about work or something about a job, it seems like. But it's like you're able to bring out the more cunning energy of this person. The, um... I don't know, for some reason, you know, it's the way the Aquarius thinks. I don't know what sign you'll be dealing with, but it's like Aquarius thinks outside the box. I think you're able to let this person walk away from their old beliefs and their old way of doing things to think like an Aquarian. That's not an easy thing for someone to pick up on. We're all over the place. We're, you know, we follow, we trust, we follow spirit. And that's a hard thing for a lot of people to do. But I think what this person is going to see this as they're able to be um, who they want to be too because they let you be who you need to be. And you admire that and you appreciate that. But you're, by doing that, they're also learning from you how to be a little more, um, why do I want to say like selective? A little more secretive when it needs to be secretive and I, I don't know. Just know how to play their hand better, I guess. Okay. Now, let's look at how your energy actually flows together. How is it going to flow together? The Hierophant. Look at this. Learning, teaching. I, I think you're teaching people. It's a commitment to each other. You're going to flow. You're going to be easily to, able to commit to learning. I think this might be like a spiritual practice or, or trusting your faith, your beliefs, and able to teach others. The rats. Wow. What is it with the rats here? The rats are some kind of stress... And the rats could cause damage. It's like you're able to t to learn by by what you go through. I almost feel like together you're able to conquer the rats. To almost like I, this is so weird. They're showing me this person here going to the rats and training them. <laughs> it's like getting them under control. What a crazy reading, huh? This is, but 23 is changed. So you're able to, you know what? We have five and we have five. This is definitely some, you're changing. Together, you're able to make a big change. And it's, it has to do with bringing more, um, more faith, more, and maybe in these rats is what I'm feeling here, are the people that don't understand. They're the people that are going you know, like berserk here because they're afraid. So since they're afraid, they just run amok. So it feels like your energy with your person, you're able to get them under control. It's, it's, um, it's the strangest reading I think I ever did. And, um, but that's the energy that they're showing me here, that you're able to calm them. And get them to understand that they 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 don't have to be in that energy of fear. That's what it is. You're controlling people's fear somehow. Whatever you guys do here, this is your connection together. Wow, that's pretty deep. Okay, so now let's see what the most likely outcome is with you guys. So we have here. The Four of Swords, a healing, and the Six of Wands. Got one more. Oh, we got two more. That's one, I got two. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. This is healing. You're going to help people from not, not feeling alone. Um, and I think together, if you guys felt like you were alone and, and going facing the world alone, no one's there for you, you're going to find... The comfort in each other this is a very healing this is moving away from this feeling alone 
into a very healing energy and it's going to produce something big you have the ace of wands something new you're sp you're sparking something brand new you might be um wow you might invent be inventing something new together something huge but there's together you're going to heal each other for whatever needs healing it's like you have you have you both have it's like you both have the match magic elixir for what the other one needs what is ailing them be is in with within each other the missing part of you is within your partner here wow 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 and then we have here the six of wands it's um this is a victory and you know it's weird i looked at six wands and i was seeing moving away from something it's the six of swords but this is saying that there's going to be a victory here. There's going to be, you guys together, you're going to get recognized for something for, I think, for bringing things out of this despair, depression, um, feeling left out. For It almost feels like you're going to help people to start something new in their own lives, too. It's like, I don't know, your connection together has a lot to do with many. It's not just you and them. It's like you're meant to be together. And it's to help others. Okay, let's see about the healing. The Four of Swords. The dog. This is trust, loyalty. You're going to find that in each other. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck we don't see coming. It might be at a crossroads here to do something here. There's going to be something that comes up that you guys are not sure what to do. Which, which path to take. Okay, the dog is loyalty. It's, um trust it's um it's help it's assistance it's um faithfulness it's also protection it's devotion you're going to find this very strong i you know like the connection between you're going to heal each other's wounds it feels like and you're going to feel very safe in each other's company I don't think you ever felt that with anyone else before okay so let's see about this six of wands the woman okay so the main female here is maybe I don't know is that the one? main female might be the one that brings you to this recognition somehow maybe there's somehow is this the person that maybe is the speaker or something like that the or is, or is just tapping into the feminine energy here we have here a crossroads as far as how you're going to do this maybe to get these to get this um this lack the feeling or something you're going to be at a crossroads about actually how to make it happen what about the Ace of Wands? The man. So we have the man and the woman. And the man, okay. So it feels like you're the female. I don't know. I'm not, not going to say you. The female is going to get you the recognition. And then the male is going to take that torch and spark something else. So it almost feels like it's so weird. It's almost like the female ignites something. But then the male will take it and spark a, something brand new. This passion, this desire to do something else too. And we have the ship. So you might be going on a journey. You might be traveling. You might be relocating. You also might be at a crossroads of where to do something. Um, this might be something overseas. Because the ship is a journey, it's travel, it's long distance. You might be doing something where you have to travel a lot. Or something overseas. Or it could be, oh, that could be international too. You might be, maybe the female takes it and gets the recognition. And then the the masculine energy is the one who who expands it. If that makes sense. Um, Yeah, so overseas, international, um, tr maybe trade, commerce, foreign. Someone going more foreign. I, you know, take it how it might resonate. I know this is not going to be for everyone, but whoever it's for, it's like pretty amazing. 
So if you're already in this, you don't have to say anything about what you're doing or anything if you're you're just starting out or, or something like that. But just just tell me it resonates now. I like to hear that. Okay. And let's see here. And look at that. We only have one court card that came out. And that is to me, this is the energy of people watching you, seeing you, noticing you. Okay. So now let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Placement your chart, placement other people chart, past, present, and future. We have Gemini. Aries. Taurus. Capricorn. Virgo. Look at that. All the earth signs. And Cancer. Okay, so placement in your chart. Placement other people chart. Past, present, and future. Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and Cancer. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for a first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. We have M, G, H, P, O, Q, K, A, R, M I I wanted to see if A was gonna come out there. That would have been something, huh? Okay, so the letters we have for today are M G H P O Q K A R M I. Alright guys, so there's your reading. Wow. Whew. Let me know if it resonates. Um I hope it does, you know, for a lot of you. But, um, and it might be someone new. I mean, if it's not resonating yet, it might be because you didn't meet this person yet. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your donations, your super thanks. And, you know, if you care to have a personal reading, don't make information below. I'll shoot me an email. I'll shoot you an email back with the information. And we'll take it from there. If you're interested, great. All right. Thank you so much.